हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पावर बैंक सर्किट एंड विच यूज इज टू थ्री पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट लिथियम आय सेल्स इन दिस डायग्राम आई एम गोइंग टू यूज टू थ्री पॉइंट सेवन लिथियम आय फॉर चार्जिंग द फोन एज यू कैन सी हियर एंड दीज लिथियम आय सेल्स सेल्स रिक्वायर a separate uh, charging circuit for each cell this is here which i which is i have drawn here so i'll explain the circuit as follows this is a charging module for the lithium ion cell and this is also the same module which charges this cell so i have parallel the inputs of both the cell of uh, both the charging modules and Uh, i have made the output uh, the, the negative of the output common with the cells and the charging circuit output and the positive i have given to a dpdt switch uh, of this uh, the output of this uh, charging circuit is given to one pole of a dpdt switch and the other output of the other charging circuit is given to the other pole of the dpdt switch and there's an interesting switching uh, circuit here uh, when i'm charging the phone i want these two cells to be in parallel with each other uh, recently i have purchased 2600 mah uh, batteries of samsung which have a voltage of 3.7 volts so i want these two cells in parallel when i'm charging the phone and when i'm charging these cells on a 5 volt supply through these charging modules i want to charge these cells individually because there's a reason for this lithium ion cells uh, if if you use two lithium ion cells in parallel and uh, try to charge with one charging module the both cells will not get properly charged but this technique is a balanced charging technique in which in which uh, we are using a separate charging circuit for each cell to balance charge the cell that means each cell will be charged uh, equal to each other to keep the life of the battery maximum and uh, when we switch over uh, the switch to this position this pole connects to the middle pole and this pole connects to this pole so what happens is the charging circuit this charging circuit gets connected to this cell through the switch and this charging circuit through this pole gets a connect gets connected to this cell so when your switch is in this position this side you can charge the cells which are there in your power bank the input should be 5 volts and minimum 1 amperes or 2 amperes so that's the charging part now suppose you want to charge your phone then flick the switch to the other position this switch here uh, which i'll be using is a uh, center of dpdt switch a rocker switch uh, when you when you want to discharge uh, when you want to charge your phone on these cells then you have to flick the switch to the other position so in this position when the switch comes i have done interesting uh, setup here i want these two cells to be in parallel when i am charging the phone so i have connected uh, the positive of uh this cell to one pole of the dpdt the center pole of the dpdt one of the center pole of the dpdt and the other cells positive i have connected to the other center pole of the dpdt and when i flick the switch to the other side is the two line side i have shorted the other poles with each other so that when you switch uh, the switch to the this to right this pole double line position this cell and this cell get connected together in parallel and 
then this uh, is given to the phone charging module here yeah. now this circuit is a module which takes uh, input from 0.9 volts to 5 volts and gives a constant output of 5 volts at 600 milliamperes so you can charge your phone at 600 milliamperes so this these cells here as i mentioned are 3.7 volts so when i flick the switch to the other side the double line side the, these come in parallel and that's uh, giving a supply to the phone charging module which accepts 0.9 to 5 volts and gives an output of 5 volts so your phone gets charged and suppose you don't want to charge or don't want to discharge your phone then there's a center position in the switch so you can keep the center position and then if you want to travel with it you can travel like that now we are planning to use this circuit on solar so we'll keep you updated when we do that video